Hello, friends. Known as the King of Cows, Blonde Aquitaine cattle, commonly known as Raza cattle, are the heaviest cattle breed in the world. With a maximum weight of nearly 3,000 pounds, this method of raising muscular cows is also attracting a lot of attention. Join Mouse Farm to learn how the farmers raise animals to create muscular cows in this video. Let's go together now. The Raza Blonde d'Aquitaine, a beef breed originating from southwestern France, was created in the 1962 through the combination of three breeds typical of the region, the Blonde de Pyrenees, the Blonde de Curcy and Beef Guernais. With a great weight, adult males can weigh up to 2,870 pounds and females can weigh up to 1,100 pounds. The stocky body, well-developed muscles and straw-colored fur are the outstanding features of this breed, along with long curved horns. This breed has been around for centuries and was first imported to the United States in 1985, becoming an increasingly popular breed there. The Raza Blondie Aquitaine cattle are suitable for many different climatic conditions, but they grow best in countries with temperate climates such as France, Spain, USA, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Their ability to adapt to many different climatic conditions makes them popular in livestock farming. The Raza Blondie Aquitaine is an easy breed to raise, is resistant to harsh weather, and can be grazed outdoors or kept in captivity. They are resistant to high temperatures and cold, as well as resistant to diseases. The ideal habitat for them is in temperate climates, with average temperatures from 10 to 25 degrees Celsius. The area on the farm is raised quite similarly to other normal cow breeds. The special feed for the Raza Blondie Aquitaine cattle breed, formulated to produce strong muscles, is a diverse mix, includes grains such as wheat, corn, oats, and soybeans, the main source of energy for cows. Forage such as grass, straw, hay, and corn stalks provides important fiber and nutrients. Concentrates such as pellets, wet foods and powdered foods are source of protein and other nutrients. The average feed intake per an adult cow is 100 to 150 pounds per day. The Raza Blondie Aquitaine calves grow quickly thanks to their mother's milk, which is high in fat and protein promoting muscle and bone health. Of the Raza Blonde de Aquitaine cattle farms in the United States, the D. Light family farm in Minnesota with about 500 cows is the largest. There are also many other farms, such as the Clatt family farm in Nebraska, the Nelson family in Iowa, and the Olson family in Wisconsin all raising large numbers of Raza Blonde Aquitaine cattle.
after about 18 to 24 months of age. Cows reach their optimal weight to participate in auctions. During this period, cows have fully developed muscles, providing the best quality meat. Mature bovine muscles can be identified by observing their appearance and touching them. Characteristics of mature beef muscles include evenly developed muscles, no protrusions, and a firm, elastic feel to the touch. The shoulder muscles are typically triangular in shape with the triangular apex at the shoulder joint and it accentuates firmness without any loose areas. The potential muscle is typically V-shaped with the top of the V in the middle of the chest and it should feel firm without any dimpling. The back muscles are usually U-shaped with the U-shape apex in the middle of the back and that'll be firm with no bulges. Cows that meet vehicle standards are selected and transported to the auction areas here. They will be perfectly manicured and carefully cared for before getting in the car and moving. On average, each transport truck will transport a maximum of three to five cows. The Raza Blondie Aquitaine Cattle Auction in Paris is an annual event organized by the French Raza Blondie Aquitaine Beef Association, taking place every March at the Paris Expo or the Versailles Convention Center. This event attracts attention with excellent cows being put on the auction floor in order of the number affixed to their bodies. Before the auction begins, each cow is inspected and evaluated by experts to ensure quality. The price of each cow depends on many factors, such as weight, age, meat quality, and fertility. Typically, a Raza Blondie Aquitaine cow weighing around 1,000.226 pounds costs between 3,000 and 5,000 euros. Notable in history is a Raza Blondie Aquitaine cow for the U.S. weighing 2,870 pounds, which sold for 60,000 euros, about $66,000, at an auction in France in 2019. The cows are numbered on their bodies with a special ink that does not fade. This number usually includes the first two digits of the auction year, followed by an ordinal number. For example, a cow from Oklahoma weighing 1,226 pounds would have the number 23, 1,226, if auctioned in 2023. Please prepare a lot of money to participate in such auctions. Thank you, and for now, allow me to invite you to continue watching the rest of the video. Don't forget to support us by dropping a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. The cow dung treatment method, called polygas, plays an extremely important role in utilizing and turning waste into a valuable resource with clear benefits for humans. Polygas is not only a fertilizer processing technology, but also an innovative approach to waste management and its use in energy generation.
Let's take a look at how polygas works. This is a technical process that converts cow dung into a source of biogas and biofuel. Biogas is the end product of this process, and it comes from underutilized organic resources, such as animal waste and food scraps. This biogas is primarily produced through digestion in anaerobic tanks, in which cattle and pig manure is transformed into a powerful source of renewable energy. Biogas is produced in large biodigesters through a series of microbial interactions and the decomposition of waste products such as methane and organic debris. But this is not just a simple way to handle fertilizer. As well as converting waste into an energy source, polygas also helps reduce environmental impact by preventing livestock and pig waste from further polluting the environment. Biogas is also a clean and renewable fuel, helping to reduce dependence on traditional energy sources and greenhouse gas emissions. Other components, such as nitrogen and phosphorus, are also processed during the process of decomposing organic material into biogas. The biogas produced is then used for a variety of applications, including heating, cooking, and electricity generation. This biogas has the ability to burn strongly and is often used as cooking fuel in many homes in the US. Importantly, Biogas is considered a renewable energy source as it is produced from renewable organic resources. Biogas has various benefits especially for farmers who use manure as a fuel source for biogas-powered generators. The biggest benefit is cost savings. Farm owners can save thousands of dollars by installing these biogas tanks. According to estimates and figures, one cubic meter of biogas can provide 1.5 kilowatt hours of electricity. Electricity is generated by devices such as gas-powered generators or biogas engines. Biogas technology is an amazing breakthrough that brings significant benefits to both people and the environment. After getting animal manure from traders, the remaining organic matter that is not completely decomposed in the biodegradation tank will become a large resource for organic fertilizer production.
This organic fertilizer provides important nutrients to plants, promotes soil fertility, and helps agricultural crops, fruit trees, and other crops. It increases crop yields, controls pests, and improves soil nutrition. Therefore, in farming communities, waste treatment, especially the grinding and processing of cow dung on farms, is crucial for the sustainability of agriculture. Furthermore, the use of giant machines to apply organic fertilizer makes spreading it on the fields easier than before. This even distribution across fields helps plants absorb nutrients. The remaining manure is further dried and ground to reduce odors and promote simple soil absorption. These types of crushed fertilizers are often sold in supermarkets that sell plants and flowers. They are an essential source of nutrients to help plants grow healthily and be able to resist pests. Cattle farming in Georgia is concentrated mainly in the southern and southeastern grasslands of the state. These are areas with a temperate climate and fertile soil that are very suitable for cattle farming. Most of the cow farms here are located in areas with such large grass fields. Every morning, the farm owner here will drive a machine to harvest grass in the fields to feed the cows. The work is much simpler because there are machines to support it. Normally, the food for cows will be dry straw and corn silage. However, when grass grows well in the fields, harvesting grass for cows to eat will take place every day. When calves begin to wean from their mother's milk, they will be transported to livestock farms for care. These farms are mainly used to raise both dairy and beef cattle. They will be brought here and raised according to each age group. Every day, the workers here will make milk for them to drink. In order for the calves to drink milk evenly, they use a nipple system attached to the milk crates. The milk crates will be divided into areas so that calves outside can also... The average weather temperature here is about 17 degrees Celsius, which is a very suitable temperature for them to grow healthily. On the farm, their resting area will be covered with a thick layer of straw. Very clean, right? Calves will have their weight and health checked regularly. This is an automatic weighing system. They just need to go into the scale, and the breeders will check the data. When they gradually mature, they will be separated and raised separately. The amount of food they consume will also be higher, accounting for 20% of their body weight. These beef cows need to absorb more nutrients. Almost all of these farms have machines to support feeding. This helps the livestock industry in Georgia take a new step forward in development. They will be on the farm mainly at night. Most of their day will be spent freely grazing in the fields. They will go in groups and reach green grass fields. This is the farm's private grass field and has fences. 
therefore farm owners do not need to manage the number of cows. Somewhere in the grasslands there are still attacks between bulls. They are using their heads to attack the opponent to gain territory. They are almost the strongest cows in the herd. The battle will end when one child gives up. After reaching a certain weight, they will be taken to the cow auction area. The people who buy cows here are farm owners from other areas, or wealthy people who come to buy the best cows. Their price can be several times more expensive than that of other breeds of cattle. The quality of beef here is of concern to many people because of its living environment and animal feed. The auction was very tense until the cows found a new owner. What kind of life will dairy cows have? They are brought to modern farms and live in a quite comfortable environment. Every day they will be provided with a variety of nutritious foods, such as cereals, cornmeal, etc. Modern machines will support providing food to the cows. Each amount of food will be directly measured by the machine so that the cows can provide the most essential nutrients. The cow massage system and automatic door help cows have the most stable living space. Robots to clean up cow waste will work regularly so that cows can live in the best environment. This is a milking factory near the farm. They will be brought here to be milked. The entire system here is completely automatic. They will go into the milking area one after another. Here, they will clean the floor after each milking. Each milking tube will be attached to the cow's udder in turn. The system is controlled into operation for irrigation when a sufficient amount of milk is collected. They will leave immediately after squeezing. After harvesting the milk, the milk truck will take it to the processing and canning factory. The whole process happened very quickly and carefully. The processing process ensures food hygiene and safety. Where do you usually drink milk produced from? Although the dairy industry in Georgia has grown, the state's milk production rate is still not comparable to states in the western or central United States. However, Georgia's contribution remains significant in ensuring a diverse and safe milk supply for the nationwide dairy market. The beef and dairy farming industry in Georgia has undergone a process of strong development, contributing significantly to the supply of fresh beef and milk for the people. with its modern livestock model and quality farms. Georgia has demonstrated its strength in the agricultural industry and built a strong position as an important location in the livestock industry in the United States. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through, as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.